Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to sum more than two categories using a measure. So let's get started. So let us say I want to sum the uh, sales amount for uh, three or four or five categories, whatever categories that you want to. So how do we do this? So I'm going to go here, click on new measure, and then I'm going to call this measure as uh, sales multiple categories. Let me quickly increase the size of this so that you can see this better is equals to then calculate so it's asking me to enter the expression here it's going to be sum of sales amount okay close the bracket here comma and then it's asking us to enter the filter expression here so i'm going to type in filter and now we need to enter the table name which is orders table here in my case that, that is where i have my sales amount okay and then type in comma and then it's asking us to enter the filter expression so over here we're going to type in subcategory is equals to and within the double quotes here i'm going to type in the category that i want to sum over here so let's close the uh, double quotes over here and then i'm going to type in the vertical bar two vertical bars over here you can find this just above the enter key on the uh, keyboard and then I'm going to type in the subcategory again over here. So basically what these two vertical bar means is it stands for or. And uh, now I'm going to type in the sub second subcategory over here. I'm going to call this as art within double quotes. Okay. And then use the vertical bar again. And let's call this, let's call the third category uh, as labels. Okay, close here. Let's go ahead with one more category over here called as uh, supplies. Oops, I made a mistake over here. I need to add the subcategory. Subcategory is equals to labels. And then the last one here, subcategory is equals to, uh, let's say storage. Okay, let's quickly format this so that it looks better. Then I'm going to close the first bracket here. The bracket for filter gets closed and then close the second bracket. The bracket for calculate gets closed over here and then you can press enter. So when you do that, you will see a measure that is created. Let's quickly bring this to a card and uh, let's change this to a card over here. So we can see the values here. Let's cr cross verify if that is correct. So the categories that we chose over here are art, labels uh, and storage okay so we'll go over here and then art labels and storage right so this these are the three categories that we chose and this is the amount 345 851 that is what is being displayed over here so now you can continue to add uh, more categories into this by just entering the vertical bar and type in the categories that you want to see over here so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials